this tech tip, I'm going to talk about conditional formatting, which is something that's specific to the Excel spreadsheet program. If you deal with a, a fair amount of data in Excel, and you try to go all the way across a row to keep everything lined up, it would be handy if each row were a different color, something like this. And you can easily follow a line all the way across and get to the information on the far right without mixing up which row it's in. It turns out this is fairly easy to do using something called conditional formatting. The first thing you do is you highlight all of the cells by clicking the top left hand corner. This tells Excel we're going to do something to every cell within our spreadsheet. Then from the home menu select conditional formatting. This will pop down a menu select new rule. When the list of rules pops up select use a formula to determine which cells to format. Now we're going to do a little math. In the format put in this formula. Mod is a function that looks at the remainder of a, a math problem. So we're going to do division and we're going to look at the remainder. Now we're going to divide the row number by two. So it's either going to be no remainder if it's an, an, an even row or it's going to be an odd number. It's going to have a remainder of one. So the answer to this question is always going to be one or zero. So if it's a zero, we want formatting to kick in. And the formatting we're going to do is the fill will be the color we select. That's it. Click OK. Click OK. Every other row, you can see it's all the even number rows, are the color that I selected in the formatting process. Now if you don't like this particular color, you can always go back manage the rules you've created and pick a different color and it's so easy you can go through uh, several different colors until you find the one you like. It's important to realize you're not changing the data you're only changing the way the data is displayed. So you can do this conditional formatting with any spreadsheet that you already have and all you'll do is make it easier to read you won't change the data at all.